everybody, it's your boy Odin from host.promo. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing Cyber Panel, which is a C panel alternative, and it is becoming very popular very fast. And if you don't know what host.promo is, it's a website I own that shows the best web hosting companies and promotions in the world. And today we're gonna to be going over all everything you need to know about Cyber Panel. I'm gonna show you guys how to install it. I'm gonna give you guys a demo and show you all the different features. And you can install it actually on any server you want. Uh, you just need to go to their GitHub. You can search GitHub Cyber Panel and you'll find it. And their installation instructions is you just need to log in your server and run this command and you should be good to go, okay? However, I'm gonna use DigitalOcean because that's what I always use and they have a one-click installation for Cyber Panel so you don't have to do anything. And they also have a $100 free trial, so if you click the link down below, you can go ahead and get started. So if you are in the DigitalOcean dashboard, all you need to do is click Create and then click Droplet. And then we're gonna to go to Marketplace and we are gonna search for Cyber Panel and it's gonna go ahead and it's going to pop up. And then we're gonna click that. We're gonna go down, you can do a $5 server, a $10 server, whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the $10 one uh, just so it's a bit fast. And then we're gonna go ahead and click New York. You can choose any location you want. And then you need to either add an SSH key or set a root password. Actually, it will create the root password for you. I think it emails to you. However, SSH is more secure. And then you need to go ahead and set the host name. I'm just gonna keep it simple and just do cyber panel. And then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna go ahead and click create droplet. And this is gonna take about 30 seconds to one minute to go ahead and create itself. All right, now that our server is created, we have an IP address. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop open a terminal. And I'm gonna go do SSH root at and then the IP address. Do you want to continue? We're gonna go ahead and click yes. All right, so now we are in the server and Cyber Panel is completely installed for us. If we need to get our password, all we need to do is come up here and copy this sudo, which will give us root privilege, and then cat, which will help us view a file. And then this is the file name, period, lightspeed, underscore, password. So we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste that. And then boom, we have our password right here. And you can see we can access the cyber panel here at this URL. It gives us three URLs, guys. So let me go ahead and explain this to you. So the first one is to access the cyber panel. The second one is to access PHP My Admin, which helps you interact with the database, MySQL database, so you can add databases or delete data or view data or run queries or whatever. And then Rain Loop is basically an email server, so it can handle all your emails, etc. So we need this one. And so we're gonna go ahead and do a new tab and we're gonna type in that URL. It's going to say warning, potential security risk ahead because it's HTTPS and this is a self-signed certificate. However, no worries guys, it doesn't matter. You just need to click advanced and click accept the risk and continue. Your browser may be slightly different, but you can always verify a self-signed certificate and say you trust it. And then the username is always gonna be admin. And then we need to go back and grab that password right here. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in. And you can also select the different language you want. It looks like they have about 15 different popular languages. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click sign in. I'm not gonna save it because this is just a test tutorial. If you guys are liking this so far, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Now we are in the Cyber Panel dashboard and it's really slick, it's really easy to use and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the most popular features. However, I'm not gonna show you all the features because there is just too much to go over. All right, so the first feature we're gonna be going over is how easy it is to create a new user. So if you need to add somebody else, you can just put their name, their email, and then the ACU is their access control. And so there's an admin, 
uh, access, reseller access, and user access. And you can set the website limit, how many websites they can have, uh, the username and password, and then the security level, whether high or low. And then you can also create access controls. So if you need uh, another access control, for example, called editor, and the editor can only do certain things, you can go ahead and easily set that up. You can see all the websites you have right here. I just created one called test.com and you can see the IP address, how much space it has, uh, what user has, if there's an SSL, if there's not, you can click it and it'll issue an SSL. And then you can also create websites right here that will be listed. So you can have different packages as well. Uh, this may be very helpful if you are a reseller for a web hosting company or you're managing a bunch of clients. And then you can select the owner, put the domain, uh, the email, and then you can select the PHP version you want. And if you want SSL, DKIM support, open base dirt protection, you can also create a mail domain. And then you can have the different packages right here. By default, it just has the default package. You can edit it, you can delete, you can add other packages. You can easily create databases. And then, so you can just put the database name, you can just do test, and then you could add the username and the password. You can configure all the name servers. You can see the different mail accounts, email accounts you have. So for test.com, I created a test email and it's pretty cool. It gives you all the POP3, the IMAP, and the SMTP settings, so you can easily hook that up and set that up. You can change the password, you can delete, or you can even add new mail accounts very easily. Uh, just set the username and the password and click create email. You can also set up mail forwarding. So for example, if we want that test email I created to forward to an email, we can then decide what email we want to forward it to and click forward email. Uh, you can easily back up sites. So you can click test.com, set the destination where you want to back up and click create backup. And the other cool thing is you can also schedule backups. So for example, if you don't want to do it manually, you could do it daily or you could do it weekly and you will be good to go. You can manage SSL certificates right in the back end and it will issue a Let's Encrypt SSL which is free for your websites. All you need to do is click issue SSL and then you can adjust the light speed tuning settings and you can adjust the PHP tuning settings. So you can improve the PHP. Uh, for example, you may want to increase the maximum connections or you want you may want the timeout to be less than 10 minutes or you may want it to be more if you have php processes that run for a long time and so you can do all this really really cool stuff right in the back end you can also uh, monitor all the different processes going on on your system it pretty much has everything guys and then you can see the status of Lightspeed you can install PHP extensions uh, Wow so you can see all these different PHP extensions you can easily install you can edit the PHP configuration uh, so you can say if you allow file uploads or allow URL F open you can increase the memory limit or decrease it change the max file size somebody can upload Etc. Etc. So they have really thought of everything, guys. And then you can even see the access logs for your server. You can see the air logs. You can see mail logs. All the different logs. You can set and change the firewall rules. You can have a mail queue, email policy server. Uh, yeah, they have really thought of everything, guys. I think it is absolutely fantastic software. And what I love about it the most is how easy it is to set up and get started. It's so, so easy. So you don't have to do a bunch of configuration. I showed you guys how to do it in this video. If you found it helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're looking for web hosting, please check out my website, host.promo. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. Peace out.